since we're talking about the music, yeah. how do you describe the music that you guys put out? Because I definitely have my I have my thoughts on it, but I, I'm really interested in how you sort of place yourself. Z. Hmm. I still don't know how to answer that question. Okay. Do you know? Um, I don't know. I guess I've always seen it as like I find. When you're a first-time listener, which I have been before because I joined Fast Romantics about five years ago, and so I was a fresh listener to the music, and and I've seen it grow since then and been part of it. I think that there's a couple things happening, like Matt's voice is really strong and soulful and maybe reminiscent of like, um, like Bruce Springsteen or something kind of uh, with a... I, I'm amazed you went to Springsteen because... And I'm, there's one song specifically. Your voice does have a lot more range than, than just this. But the one song, like what th- jumped out at me was Bowie. Mm, yeah. Like okay. there's... I'll take it. Yeah, no, yeah. there's there's a there's a Bowie quality to your voice that when... when As I was listening, I can't remember the name of the one song specifically, but it's throughout all of them. The, the one song specifically, I, I was playing for a friend in my car and they went, what what, al- what, what Bowie album is this? And I went, it's, it's not. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Not. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it was already in my head and yeah. it was recognized by my buddy that was sitting next to me too. So I'm, I'm amazed you went to Springsteen. So well, cool. I think just like an old soul, like some you. of those, like I, I find it to be rich in tone, mm. similar to like a Bowie or a Springsteen or something like that. So I think it gives it that kind of soulful edge. Um and then, and then I find the rest of it like this, um, this lush wall of sound because there's so many of us in the band, and we have strings and horns mixed in there. Um, and I think it also gives it like there's also this, you know, obviously modern like edge to it with these synthetic tones and stuff. I don't know. It's I think it's a blend, but I feel that it has it's a blend of like new you know kind of alternative rock music mixed with like some old soul you know we pulled influences from like motown and yeah all sorts of fun stuff but it's why we have such a hard time answering that question I think. yeah that's right? a, yeah it's because Did you I answer end, it okay? <laughs> well you basically said we're all the things we're all things <laughs> and that's like it's that's why it's tough no but it's and i mean i again i'm i'm asking you guys the 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 kinds of questions that i typically don't ask at all because i they're they're usually pretty pointless but but i'm sort of fascinated by the entire story with you guys because like when i was listening to the music that you guys were putting out there are these singular pieces. There's the albums as well, but you've got these singles that are out. But you guys have also managed to take this sound that seems to fit in so well with like the modern sort of track by still pulling in all of these outside influences. It was really fascinating to me. Like, there's a lot of modern music that I listen to that I'm like, oh, okay, that's you know whatever. But there was just there's something about listening to to I, the last album that you guys put out and your your latest single as well. Um, that was really captivating to me. And I was just sort of, I was wondering if there, it kind of goes back to my goal question. Like I can kind of tell that you guys pull influences from all kinds of different places. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sort of wondering how conscious of an effort that is. Pretty unconscious. The only consciousness I ever feel is that I sometimes, and this is just pure honesty at this point, I just kind of sometimes feel that music's kind of taking off without us or without me. Um, and, and when I say music, I mean like modern music in a way that, you know, I think that's why a lot of people are like, oh, you guys sound vintage or whatever. Um, Cause there's like, there's just some sounds that I don't know how to make. Uh, <laughs> so, and I, I just, I, I don't know that it's because we sound like old music or, or certain kinds of new music. I don't, it's really hard for, I'm too close to it. I think we're all too close sure. to it. But um, I love I love the music of the 60s and 70s. I think all of us love the music mm-hmm. of the 60s and 70s. I love the songwriters of the 60s and 70s. Um, I'm not like the oldest dude in the world, but I love old music. And I still, like, I don't like to think about um, uh, how many people are left that also like that. Um, so it's, it's like, that's the only thing I sometimes get conscious of is like, you always want to make music that's relevant. You know, I think, I don't know anybody, all my heroes are always moving with, 
you know, you want to talk about Bowie, you know, somebody who they constantly moved ahead of where the music was. Right. Um, and so I think we, we, that's the only conscious part of the sound is I think we do always try to f absorb what's going on around us. And so if that means that we take vintage things that we love and don't like the idea of losing in the zeitgeist of everything and then blend it with what we're hearing around us, that's probably the closest I could come to describing mm -hmm. what we do musically. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we fail at it and sometimes we succeed at it. Yeah. You know? no, that is the journey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.